The U.S. Embassy in China is evacuating American citizens from Wuhan, the center of the coronavirus outbreak. More than 1,500 cases are now reported in China, where at least 54 people have died. Here in the U.S., 63 patients have been tested in 22 states. Here's Remy Innocencio. At ground zero in Wuhan, an army of excavators is in a frantic race to now build not one, but two hospitals to treat over 2,000 people infected with the coronavirus. As patients continue to pack into hospitals, medical supplies are running low, masks, gloves, and surgical gowns. The city's highways, train station, and airport now sit empty after officials restricted access out of the sprawling city of 11 million people. More than a dozen surrounding cities and towns, an estimated 50 million people, are now on some kind of total or partial transport lockdown. Most of the infections have been in mainland China, but fresh cases are popping up. Today, Australia and Malaysia reported their first cases, and Japan reported a third. France confirmed three cases on Friday, while the U.S. identified a second in Chicago. Fears of infection have spread from Wuhan this past week. As our CBS News crew left before the city's lockdown, nearly every departing passenger at the airport was wearing a mask. And across the country, including Beijing, where we were checked for fevers right after we got off the plane. All this souring celebrations for Chinese New Year, the country's biggest holiday. To get an idea of just how big Chinese New Year is in this country, think of it as Thanksgiving and Christmas combined for 1.4 billion people. That is a massive, massive celebration. And parks like this should be filled with people celebrating the holiday, but now they're nearly empty. In and around Beijing, major tourist sites like the Forbidden City and a part of the Great Wall, normally bustling with visitors, are now closed. Further south, Shanghai Disney has closed its gates. None are expected to reopen until this still-expanding coronavirus epidemic is contained. Remy Innocencio, CBS News, Beijing.